basic movement. Move towards the highlighted waypoint. Let's cover the basics of duality. Every player will control a second body called a specter that you can freely swap between at any moment. We say, one mind, two bodies. You can use duality as a second life, to cover multiple bomb sites across the map or even to play two angles in the same area. Now, swap to your specter and move to the marked location. You're a natural. When you throw the puck, it'll move your specter to that location. The puck throw will let you deploy your specter to some places you might not normally be able to reach. Use puck throw and swap to continue to the waypoint. Great, you got that. Move towards the highlighted waypoint. Great, keep going. Jump to clear that obstacle. Crouch to get under that obstacle. Remember, keeping your specter alive is key to getting to hard to reach places. Throw your puck up onto that ledge. You're getting it, swap to your specter. Once you're comfortable with puck throws and swaps, feel free to move to the next area. Now, swap to your specter to keep going. Swap bodies to start the weapon training. Before each round of combat, you have a limited time to buy weapons and equipment. Try that now. Weapons are always bought in mixed pairs, with a different weapon on each body. You can try as many as you like right now, but remember, in combat, you'll have limited money and time to choose. While waiting, your specter body is able to detect enemy footsteps it hears. You'll receive an alert from your specter when an enemy is running nearby. Shoot the enemies as they appear. You always have better accuracy while aiming down sights, even while moving. Getting an alert because your specter hears something. Swap bodies to check on that threat. Swap bodies to check on that threat. You're doing great. Equipment use is key to success in Sentai combat. At the beginning of every match, you'll select from a list of sponsors which will determine your three pieces of equipment. Equipment sets are different for each sponsor. You'll want to learn them all. There are two ways to throw a grenade. Use an overhand throw for longest range, an underhand throw for nearby targets. You might need to bounce your grenades to hit enemies behind cover. Splinter! Throwing splinter! Splinter grenade out. Splinter grenade. You're getting an alert because your specter hears something. Swap bodies to check on that threat. Splinter! Throwing splinter. You're doing great. In a match, the attacker's goal is to eliminate all enemies or successfully plant and detonate the Zeus. Let's start by picking up the Zeus. You have the Zeus. Let's try planting the Zeus in the designated zone on Site A. I'm planting the Zeus. Zeus has been planted. The Zeus will take a while before it detonates, and enemies will try to defuse it before it goes off. Great, let's move to the next section. Now let's see what it looks like as a defender.
You must defuse the Zeus before it goes off. Ready on the Zeus. Ready on the Zeus. To win as a defender, you need to eliminate all attackers before they plant the Zeus. If they do plant the Zeus, you must defuse it before it detonates. Use your knife to take out the enemy through the door ahead. You move faster when holding your knife, so switch to it when you're in a hurry. Enemy dropped the Zeus. Great. Now head to the exit. Try walking past this reveal wall. When you do this, your location is revealed to attack. Revealed. You'll stop being revealed to enemies once you exit the reveal area. Now let's see what it looks like as an attacker. Pick up a weapon. Bullets can penetrate some types of cover. I've revealed some vulnerable enemy targets. Shoot them. You've been practicing. Total badass. Great job completing your training. Spend some time in the practice range to get familiar with the sponsors, weapons, and your new duality skills. Then, get out there and forge your legacy in Sandpie.